So when we take a look at history, all we have are reports. Somebody said they saw this, somebody said they knew this person, somebody said this other thing. That's all well and good when we're trying to put together the best understanding of history we can, but we shouldn't be proclaiming it as truth. Is it reasonable to believe that Jesus was crucified uh, under Pontius Pilate? I don't think so. Okay, so do you think that all historians in the world uh, that teach at major universities, it's unreasonable for them that they believe Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate? For them to believe it? Perhaps, yeah. um, perhaps it's unreasonable for them to believe it with a lack of physical evidence. And the physical evidence that I would be talking about is medical scientific evidence about that individual. It's not that, you know, well, it that may be the be case. That wouldn't be physical evidence. That would be another kind of testimonial evidence from someone like a doctor who says, yep, this person is dead because I'm very familiar with what, you know, what constitutes a dead person. So, so it sounds like you're taking not just an epistemology, but a historio, historiographical approach, like how we do history. That is just totally different from every other historian in the world. I'm what not a historian. Makes... I'm not a historian, and I don't care what methods historians use. Okay, so everything has to be science, things that are tested. It seems like we've already said that you can't really test things in history. Uh, it's just testimony, so it's not science. Are you saying like history is not a part of our knowledge? So within the realm of within the realm of things that we know, there are, there are beliefs and knowledge is a subset of beliefs. And within epistemology, sometimes knowledge is defined as justified true belief. I have a problem with that definition because I don't know how you verify truth. And we're basically, you and I are arguing, as are many other people, about what is or isn't justified. And so history doesn't qualify as a science. But that doesn't mean that if there are claims about history that are consistent with the evidence and facts of the universe. Yeah, I do believe there's good evidence that Jesus' tomb was empty, yes. Yeah, but do we know anything at all about the tomb, where it is, which one it is? Can you take me to that tomb and show me and prove that it was Jesus's? Uh, well, we have good evidence that the side of the tomb uh, was discovered in the fourth century because after, after Jesus's resurrection, the tomb became a, uh, a pilgrimage site. And then the emperor Hadrian built a temple on top of it to discourage Christians from going there. But that actually helped to mark where the location was. It was then, that temple was then later identified by Constantine in the fourth century. And a church was built on top of it that you can visit today that, was, that is located outside of the old walls of the city of Jerusalem. Uh, even skeptical and, scholars think this is right. good evidence to where Jesus' tomb was.